In this video, I'm going to show you how to continue working on a style from MacBook Studio in Meputnik. So we have our OS Bright style here and we want to export it. And the reason for that is you might want to add your own data sources or you want to edit the style in the JSON mode to add new features like the newly supported 3D buildings via fill extrusion. And so let's download the style. We first need to download the zip file and then extract it. So here we have our license and the style JSON. Let's go to Meputnik and upload that style. Choose the style JSON. And it is uploading it now and now nothing happens. And that's because you need the access token so that it can access the Mapbox vector tile service. So copy your access token from Mapbox, go to style settings and paste it here. You see here we already have the Mapbox sources referenced. So you might want to reload. And here we have it. Now that's using the Mapbox vector tiles in the inspect mode, we can also see that. And what we want to do is add 3D support for buildings. And if you hover over the buildings here, we see they have extrude false or extrude true. So we're going to create a new layer and it will be a fill extrusion layer. It will be the Mapbox source and the building vector tile layer. Here it is. Let's add that. So this is all the way down here. Let's switch back to map mode and we should be able to see it. Yeah, we give it a color. And here we go. And we want to add a filter to only match if extrude equals true. And so now we want to add the fill extrusion height as a property function. And we're going to add the property. We want to use the height property as property. And the type is an identity function that so will take the height in the vector tiles and apply it. And here we go. And we also want to add as explained in this example, a base, so a fill extrusion base that's using the min height property. So we go back here again, create a new property, fill extrusion base, and we want it to use the property min height and type identity. All right. And that's how you can enable 3D buildings using Meputnik and your Mapbox GL style. And now we can also download this again and re-upload it to Mapbox Studio or integrate your own data sources into it. Thanks for watching.